all with me today because I am going to tell you some duck tales. <laughs> duck is a very, very special Chinese ingredient, particularly in special occasions, special celebration. So today, let us celebrate with five spice crispy duck. Here, I have a duck right here. Normally, they call Long Island duck you buy here, but this is originally from Peking, Peking duck. They farm raised this. So when you buy it in a Chinese store, you can buy ducks that can still walk. <laughs> and also, they come with the head and everything. But anyway, this particular duck, normally when you buy the duck in the supermarket, this is already removed because you go to Chinese dim sum restaurant, they have braised duck web and braised chicken feet because in China, as I said, it's the golden rule of Chinese cooking, never waste anything. Nowadays, everybody is into healthy, low-fat cooking. So we're gonna use steam power for this particular dish. We wanna steam this duck. When you steam this duck, you take the fat off, get rid of all the fat so it's nice and healthy. If you don't wanna steam it, you can actually do it by microwaving it in about high heat for about 10 to 12 minutes until you get to a stage like this. Let me see, show you. This is the duck. This has been microwave for about 10 to 12 minutes and you can see all the fat is all down here. All the fat, can you see the fat? You don't want this fat. And then you put this over here, get rid of these. And a lot of people don't know a lot of the time, when you see the duck, a lot of the time, the, the duck is heavy. The fat is normally sit around here. You can find the fat around the bottom right here. You see this? When the duck gains weight, they always gain where they sit. <laughs> but actually, actually, they don't sit except a sitting duck. <laughs> they always run around. But anyway, we're gonna marinate this. You gotta marinate this with five spice powder. Look at this, five spice powder. We're gonna marinate this over here. We're gonna have five spice powder, about one to one and a half teaspoon. You're gonna have orange zest. It's gonna be a beautiful, tasty duck. And you also have some garlic and ginger. Let's, once again, mince some garlic and ginger. Garlic and ginger, a lot of them, okay? Mince it. Mince this. Simple job. Mince this. And also a little star anise. And also you use salt and sugar. One teaspoon of salt, some sugar. Okay, marinate this. And also, of course, never forget soy sauce. Mix them all up. You can rub this into the duck inside and out. This way, you can bake them. Okay, let's hold on to this. Bake them about 375 degrees. Turn in the oven for approximately 30 minutes. Put the, all this inside here. <laughs> Be very cautious. And then rub this around. Look at this, look how beautiful. Rub this around. Rub this. When you rub this, be careful, very, very smoothly. <laughs> Give the right mood, get into the right mood. Tenderize the duck. <laughs> I am having fun. <laughs> now, you're gonna add five spice powder and you're gonna bake them so you're gonna have a nice crispy duck, okay? Without the five spice powder, you're not gonna have a five spice crispy duck. You're gonna have a crispy duck with no spice. I'm gonna clean up my hand right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it to the oven and bake it. 375 for half an hour, and then turn it upside down. You cook it about 325 for another hour or so. So you cook it a total of one and a half hour. We'll take this over here. In the meantime, let's see. Wow, look at all of these. For so many people in the audience, I have, I'm doing two ducks. 
cut. Let's put it over here. And then, look at this. This is a wonderful, why do you call five spice crispy duck? Because the skin is crispy. Look at this. And it's five spice here. And the inside the meat is juicy and succulent. If the inside is crispy and outside is moist and soft, you are reading my recipe upside down. <laughs> now, we're going to serve these. Look at this. Every very, very hot. Watch out. Show you. We're going to serve these with some glazed walnut. I'm nuts about walnut. When this is nice and done, And then you serve some walnut right over here, right over here. So this way, the gas can have a contrast of taste as well as texture. When it's done, you can hold on to this, and you can slice a couple pieces. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this. And then you can look how beautiful this is. huh? One piece. This is scrumptious. You can. See how beautiful this is. Look at this. Beautiful duck. Now we're going to do another wonderful dish with duck. Braised egg pressure duck. And why do you call braised egg pressure? Because we have eight different ingredients in this particular dish. That's why we call Bad bo pang up means braised egg, different treasure or precious duck. Here we have the duck right here. We're gonna marinate this with the following ingredient. We have some soy sauce, soy sauce, okay, and we have garlic, one teaspoon of garlic, and salt and sugar. Marinate this. Make sure you rub them inside out. Do that a couple days. You can do this the night before, at least two hours, to four hours, to six hours, depends on how much time you have. Make sure they are. <laughs> the reason why I do that is because make sure the whole cavity is nicely coated, and then turn it upside down once again. Now, as a courtesy, I do not turn this side. To <laughs> When you go to a dinner, they always, when they serve chicken or serve fish, they always point the head towards the honor guest. If you sit where this is pointing you, it's time to leave. <laughs> Without being told to get lost. Now, make sure, once this is done, we are going to brace it in this wok, okay? Turn this up. We have all this ingredient. Look at the ingredient we have. When I'm bracing, I want to go through all the eight ingredients. Slightly brace it up because you want to get some of the fat out first, okay? And then you put this in, the breast side down because a lot of the fat is right under here. So we do this first. Wow! Make a lot of noise. This duck is making noise. You make noise? <laughs> I make noise. Now, here, look at all these ingredients. We have mushroom, okay? You can cut it up for the small one, you don't have to cut it up. For the big one, you might want to cut it up in half, or three pieces. All done. Put it right over here. And then we have some bamboo shoot. Look at this. Cut this in half. And we'll cut into bite-sized pieces. Bamboo shoot, a whole big piece. Set it aside. So there's two different ingredients. And we also, while we're bracing this, we also can brace it with some shallot, whole big chunk of shallot, okay? A lot of garlic and ginger, a lot of garlic and ginger. Get the flavor out. And also, we use a tiny, tiny bit of salt and sugar, tiny bit of ex extra salt and sugar right here. And then we will brace the whole thing upside down. Look at this. Let's turn this upside down. Wow, look at how beautiful it looks, huh? Look at this. 
It is looking good. And then the next thing you do is move them around. The other season I'm gonna put in is water chestnut, this other egg pressure. Water chestnut, bamboo shoot, and Chinese shiitake mushroom, or called donggu. And then you use this, this is very important. Anybody know what this is? This is the fermented red bean curd, made from soybean. This will give a nice Chinese flavor to it, okay? And they normally bite it in a little jar like this. Look at this, little jar like this. And then you also, if you have, you can also cut up some leek, big chunks of leek. Lay them around, let it braise, okay? Some green onion, let it braise. Green onion, let it braise. And then at the last minute, put a tiny bit of extra soy sauce. And then some broth, put it right in here. Braise it for approximately one and a half hours. It's gonna be delicious. And of course, towards the end, you can also put a tiny bit of potato. Braise it for about an hour or so. Then in the last half an hour, put some chopped either potato or taro root. Look at this, this is taro. Have you ever seen this before? Very popular in Chinese and Southeast Asian cuisine. You put it, it works like a potato. You can bake them, you can deep fry them. Once this is done, we're gonna remove this lid from here to here because we have been cooking ducks. We love ducks. Cover up. Here we have a beautiful duck have been braised for about one and a half hour. When it's done, we're gonna show you quickly how easy it is. Look at this. Let's put it over here. Wow, this is hot. Let's shut it off. Put it over here. Everybody can see we are gonna transfer this whole thing. Look at this. Whole duck. Right over here. Look at how beautiful. And then put all the ingredients. Put it right over here. And this is so beautiful. I cannot believe it myself. <laughs> this is really nice because you can serve the whole party with just one duck. Brace, egg precious duck. <laughs> now, we're gonna show you something just as exciting. We're gonna show you how to make a simple roast duck salad. When you go to a Chinese Chinatown, you walk around a Chinese deli, you see this roast duck hanging all over the place. These are the roast duck. If you, do, if you have time, you can always make your own, okay? First of all, I'm gonna get some duck breast out. Get this duck breast out, we're gonna put it in the duck salad, okay? And the rest of the duck, I'm gonna do stir-fried duck. To save time, we're gonna, we have been roasting some walnut in our oven. You know, do your walnut roasting, your, not in your toaster, but in your oven. So we're gonna <laughs> roast it. Look at this. I love my nuts so much. I want to walnuts around here. <laughs> Let's get this out because I've been roasting this. This is beautiful. After you finish roasting this, you put it over here. And then you make a dressing. I have some rice vinegar, okay? About half a cup, some honey. Look at this, get some honey. And also Chinese hot mustard. When I don't feel good, when I have a cool, I always use a, a lot of Chinese hot mustard. It clear up my sinus. <laughs> and if you really are adventurous, you use this Japanese style horseradish, wasabi. Not only will it clear up your sinus instantly, it blow your mind. <laughs> and then also some roasted walnut, okay? Because we're gonna make a dressing out of these. Okay, let's soak. Let's make a dressing. Now, also I'm gonna use about half a cup of oil. This is, I use walnut oil because I love this strong, and nutty and flavorful because a lot, sometimes chef use about half and half, but since I love strong stuff, so I love, this is gonna be wonderful dressing. Now, a lot of people don't know, walnut oil is very, very light. Wow, this is still very hot. Let's remove these and let it cool down. Walnut oil is very light, very delicate. It blends really well with a lot of dressing ingredient and also 
it is very, very nutty and flavorful. So that's why when I make salad dressing, I always use it. Cut this up into matchstick sizes. And also here, I have some, a variety of miniature nice lettuce. I have radicule, I have spinach, I have arugula, all of these. Put them all over here, okay? We're gonna make, create a nice salad, okay? We have some duck to spray on top. Look at this, huh? And then we also have some extra roast walnut right on top. Nuts about walnut. And then also we're gonna put some julian, matchstick julian. Hikoma. <laughs> when I say hikoma, I always think of a glass of water. <laughs> and also do a tiny, tiny bit of julian. Matchstick size. Celery. See, matchstick size. And also, if you want for color contrast, a tiny bit of red pepper. See, this is what you call match in heaven. <laughs> Look at this. This is so beautiful. When this is done, you remove this and put the salad dressing in. And I am telling you, this is absolutely delicious. Look at this, beautiful. Absolutely wonderful duck walnut salad. <laughs> when you watch the Yang King Cook Show, you should always follow my recipe step by step. This is what you call step by step. <laughs> now, the next dish I want to show you is very exciting. And for this particular dish, we are fortunate to have with us an innovative master chef, author of this beautiful book, Chef Chu's Distinctive Cuisine of China, Larry Chu. Now, we are talking about duck tails. So we're gonna do more duck. And here, we have another duck. We're gonna do your specialty. This is the smoke flavored duck. Sure. You have a green onion. I'm gonna marinate you this. Marinate it, sure. Your green onion. Oh, has a dry sherry. sherry. Let's put some dry sherry. Ginger. Some ginger. Oh, you gotta talk marinate this first so it Let's tastes turn this good. around it. It's not very polite. So you said, hoisting sauce. This is recipe actually is what normally do in my home. In a restaurant, we'll do it slightly different. Yes. White salt, white pepper, five spicy powder, all together, marinate inside. Uh oh. Somebody left something inside. See? Of course. I'm I do it exactly the same <laughs> way as Chef Chu does it. I've been watching your show for so much, so I sometimes get a. Look at this good, it's fun. Look at this. Shall we uh, massage for a little while? No, of course. Okay, the truth of sure. the, the matter is right now, what we're doing is try to get a flavor into the duck. And then later on, we're going to steam, let the flavor develop among the spice and the duck together. We're going to steam this for about 45 minutes to an hour, OK? Once it's steamed, let's uh, lose this a little bit. Then sure. we can show everybody we have one already have steamed. We'll take it out. We will show everybody this is the duck we have already steamed. What's important, the duck now have a flavor you know, with all the spices, or hoisting sauce, or ginger, green onion, get all the flavor inside. Also, you lost a lot of the fat, very healthy. Especially today, we're in the California. Everything talk about health consciousness. That's true. Right? Now. This is not very responsible. It just quacks me up. <laughs> but as you can look at the duck, the color wasn't that appealing. Yeah. So what we needed was a little bit of smoke. We give it not only the delicate flavor, and also uh, give a nice flavor to it. Here and is our flavor. smoking. All right. Smoking is very, very popular in China. That's a very different, there's some basic difference between Western style cooking and the Asian style cooking. This way we can actually, by steaming, we can not only can develop the flavor, also keep the moisture in the duck. That's the difference. Now, you had a brown sugar, you line it right in here. At home, we can actually put a aluminum pants, aluminum foil. Five spice powders. Rice. Oh, some yeah. tea, black fully tea. fermented oh, yeah. black tea. Any flavor tea you want, but black tea. And if you want, some green onion, or stock anise. That's it. Put them all together. Flavor to it. 
put this right, right here. Well, you have a couple of chefs in the kitchen. Um, fortunately, we're not cooking Let's for soup. Let's do it this way, because otherwise we may not be able to get in our little dinky uh, home kitchen. When this is this done, here? we'll put it over here and, and cover up in a tin. Okay. What happens when temperature reaches a certain degree, the brown sugar started melting, the rice, the, also the tea leaves starting smoking. This gave a nice depth of flavor to the dirt. It's very important to keep this thing nice tight and tight still. I understand this uh, in China. There's uh, the cold smoking and the Sichuan style hot smoking. Maybe right. we can elaborate so everybody knows what's going on. In the well, meantime, I'm going to, while you're talking, to, I'm going to take this over there and let it bake. Instead of deep fry, we'll bake this. Okay. When we talk about cold smoking, it's in, your, in Hunan province. When Hunan, when cold smoking, when you try to, after harvest, you're starting, you're starting to pickle the uh, meat, the birds. You're also uh, curing. After curing, you smoke them. This will prolong the life of the birds. Now, what we have here in the restaurant, we not only have, we can smoke the duck, as well we can smoke the quail and the chicken as well. What we have here is quail. We have a nice quail right here. After we marinate it, after we, you know, smoke the steam and smoke the, it's, it's like this. Now we're going to deep fry them, so give a nice texture to it. Gonna keep the fire a little, little bit. The temperature right Turn now. Turn it on. Yep. Keep up See, a little in bit. restaurant, in Larry's restaurant, not only they can, last week I went over to the restaurant and I tried this smoke. This is really nice, delicious. <laughs> I'm doing a duck tail, but you ask why we're doing this little quail? This thing, even though it doesn't look like a duck, but it it doesn't move like a duck, doesn't make noise like a duck, it doesn't talk like a duck, but it cooks like a duck. That's why we also do this in a duck tail dish. The quail has a delicate flavor too as well, and it takes a lot more, less time than the duck, and less fat as well. So in a restaurant, we serve as one, as two. At home, you can serve, serve with sing rice, little snow peas, would be meal by itself. That's so correct. I highly recommend it. It take a totally time, maybe get half an hour. Ready. As you can see right now, the oil gets temperature at 350 degrees. Well, how do I know 350 degrees? Martin, I understand next time, so you put your no finger idea. into it. <laughs> but it hurts, it's <laughs> If you are courageous. If it's burned, it's a 400 degrees. Okay, as you can see right now. If you don't feel anything, you better see a doctor. <laughs> okay, smoke, mm. it indeed gives the flavor to it. Give a color as well. So why to go with the colors of word? When Probably. this is done, we'll serve this right over here. In the meantime, we'll serve this beautiful tea smoked duck. Look at this. Well, that's the beauty of a Chinese cooking, that it, we emphasize on not only the presentation, we're looking for flavor and textures as well. Now, the duck at the deep fry, you have a nice color, you have a nice flavor, have a marinated. If deep fry, you give a nice texture as well. Have a nice crispy texture outside, as you can see right here. Very aromatic. Very nice and colorful, and you serve this beautiful steam bun. See? Wonderful thing about this is not only you can smoke duck, you can smoke chicken, you can smoke game ham. Anything you like, you can smoke it. You can, of course, you can smoke fish. This is a very classic uh, example of a typical Chinese dish that go through several cooking process. You marinate them, you steam them, and then you either bake them or deep fry them before you serve it. So let's go through several. This is what makes Chinese cooking so complex, so exciting and flavoring. Because when you go through all these process, each process contributes something to the final product. Let's put you're, them all you're over right. and serve. This let's is a, earlier I mentioned Sichuan coat, coast bowl. Now it's a hot bowl. Coast bowl will take a less time, quicker, but give you only a very delicate flavor to the you know, meat. This is all set. Let's set it right here. Set it. Make sure to drain the oil. You're ready to eat, ready to serve. And this is a wonderful main course. See. All you can also serve this as an appetizer. Let's line them all up. Line them all up. This is very easy to do. Very easy to do. Everybody can do this at home. Very juicy as I said, too. You can use chicken or quail or anything you like. Let's see how, how juicy Larry, that I is. Want to thank you today for joining me and all our people in the studio audience for this DuckTales. Well. Everybody is cracking up around here. Until next time, if Yen can cook, you can cook, so can, can you. you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>